and your <laughs> hustle and all that, but I think there's more to it and things that you haven't even unlocked yourself. But what sliders, what did Gary add to the wine experience that no one had ever done, besides the whole thing you spit in that, that the, the, the cherry pocket? Yeah, that was totally not on the slider for most wine experiences. <laughs> New Jordan! Thank you. Action figure. Yes. Telling people they know. Am I supposed to say something? No, no, no. Only if you want to, you know. I, I think everything is right. I mean, I think, um, I think I talk about wine from the heart. And that, was, and that was a unique thing to add to what most people were doing in the wine business? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Except for you. <laughs> yes. Well, I think wine's fun. Have you drank any of it? <laughs> I think uh, what, what I wanted to I would do... Rather he, 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 with Conan. I think what ended up happening for me was I... Uh, I would go to these serious wine tastings and people would, you know, talk about it one way and I just knew that it tasted different to me and I was confident enough because I didn't care what they thought to talk about it differently and was completely convinced that there was a huge lack of wine self-esteem in America and I knew that I had enough self-esteem for everybody to be the poster boy and that I would take the bumps and the bashes and the punches in the face from the industry because they all knew I was better than them anyway. Okay, so could you just stay up here with me for a minute? Forever. So, we're almost done. Um, so that would be a really great exercise for y'all to do is, um, it, you know, it doesn't have to be about Gary. It could be about your own stuff. And someone else to look at something where someone has really had a breakthrough and done something in their, you know, business or industry or domain that's really different and figure out what's on those sliders. Figure out what the labels are that nobody had. Because again, it's not about, if you're moving the sliders, you're making incremental changes. If you're adding new labels and new sliders, now you have something that you can use for breakthroughs. So this is my last real one. Um, don't mistake narrow for shallow. Uh, yeah, lol caps. If you, because um, people always go, yeah, where's the passion? Where's the expertise, you know, in lol caps? Like that's their perfect example. And it's like, well, okay. So um, I, I googled lolcats plus translation, not lolcats, which probably makes Google explode. I said lolcats plus <laughs> translation, 52,000 Google hits. I think it's pushing the boundaries of, you know, machine translation. I mean, they're probably, I mean, people are probably getting PhDs in the code behind, you know. And, but this is my favorite one. Yes, they are translating the Bible. And um, a year ago, when I first looked at this, this is a screenshot from a year ago. It said 61% done. And um, now it just says almost done. Um, so people take this stuff really serious. So even things that, that can be viewed as really just ridiculously narrow are not necessarily shallow. This is one of the ways you know that you have something where some class of people actually could become experts in it. Um, and, and that whole genre is really fascinating, and it's something that you can do with some of the things. Um, you know, it could be something that you even start a blog about. Like passive-aggressive notes is one of my favorites. And it's where people just, they just send in pictures. <laughs> This is the one for, for capturing um, people who misuse the word literally. <laughs> and, it's, and it's just awesome. And you know, people are, it's a community around people who, you're finding people who misuse literally. And this is my personal favorite. The blog of unnecessary t-shirts. Um, there's a point. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm not showing you the more X-rated ones. <laughs> What's actually, you, you have to go to the blog because what's actually <coughs> interesting is that people have developed a whole, uh, you know, a, a whole way, and including like cute overload, a whole way of doing the titles and the little blurbs that go with the pictures and choosing which pictures go there. And all the people who want to get their pictures chosen there. I mean, I'm picturing all these people with their cameras looking for, you know, misused quotation marks, which is really easy to do. Um, <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> Not really. <laughs>